I am Tino by Me Paul, and this is a quick tour of Google Plus. Google Plus is a social networking tool. It's kind of like Facebook, but it doesn't have as many features yet. There are a couple of things here that are kind of neat, though. Number one, let's just do a quick menu style tour. This is a nice little toolbar that will follow you around Google, and if you click on it, it will take you to your incoming stream in Google Plus. So if you're in Google search and in actually most of the things that are currently visible on the bar except for reader and photos, if you're on one of those uh, applications, you can click, you can get this bar and then click to go back to the stream. Well, actually, it's not in Gmail right now either. Well, anyway, so the stream contains everybody that you're following, but you can also edit your stream by creating these things called circles. What are circles? They're basically mini groups of people that you're following. So right now, I don't have anybody who's in family on the site, so no one in, there's no one in my family circle. I can also, if I want to, not only just see the people who are in the family circle, but if I want to, I can actually just share with people only in the family circle, which is kind of neat. There's also a, uh, in the, the toolbar that I didn't go over, there's a notification section, and there's the, um, it's telling me right now that, um, Something has happened since I've last been here, and it'll say, you know, somebody commented on a post that you commented on, or maybe somebody commented on your post. And I've purposely set up all my settings so that it's all public information. If you can reach Google Plus, you can see most of this information. So try not to violate any anybody's uh, privacy. So that's the top navigation. And going down the side, we have this links, of course, to your profile, the welcome screen, which is the first thing you'll see when you first sign up will show you the introduction to everything that you're using in Google+. First of all, the circles, which is how you can group people into different areas. Think of it like Twitter lists, except much easier to work with, and not just for status updates, obviously. It's not as sophisticated as, as Facebook groups. I'm hoping that when Google Groups comes out, that this is a feature that will be compatible with the, the idea of circles. Then there's of the feature called Hangout, which up to 10 people can stop in and chat on video all together, all at the same time, or watch a face, uh, not a Facebook video, I'm so silly, a YouTube video all together at the same time. Then there's this part that I don't really care for called Sparks. We're going to come back to that. But just showing you another couple things. It'll suggest users. It'll tell you who you're already following. And there's a mobile version, which is of Google Plus. And then there's an area that will allow you to send invites. Sometimes this bus button is missing and you have to try to send invites through the circles and I'll show you how you can do that in just a little bit. But first let's go over this thing that I said that I didn't like since we looked at that menu. Let's look at this menu over here. I don't really care for the sparks because there's not a lot of information in here. You can go, okay, well find stuff you're interested in. Well, you know, I'm interested in marketing. So this is basically giving me news on marketing. It's not giving me updates. It's not giving me things that people have posted in Buzz or Google News. It's giving me a couple of videos. It's not even giving me YouTube videos. I mean, it's, it's not really a, a comprehensive area of information. And I'm not sure what it's drawing on, but right now it seems like it's the news, which makes sense because those are, what, 40,000 or 50,000 sites that they've moderated so they know pretty much what the quality of the content is. So that's fine. But why can't I get search right here? Why can't I get blogs right here? That would be nice. Why can't I get real-time search to show up right here and then pick things that I want to share from this area? So I'm not impressed with Sparks yet, but maybe they're going to do something that's a little bit different here. Now, of course, you've got the Google search in here. I'm told that you can actually use the chat with people in circles, which I think is really cool. So one of the, that's one of the, the um, areas that I actually um, feel that uh, I'm, I feel safe chatting with those people, so I added them to my chat area. So let's look at some of the other parts of Google Plus that are cool. Google Photos. 
So this is tied in kind of, sort of, to Picasso. And I say kind of, sort of, because um, it will tie in photos from Google Photos, which is what Picasso used to be or is transitioning out of. But if you go to share something that you know is a photo that's in your photo album, it says add photos, and it goes looking on your computer for photos to add. It doesn't go looking in your Picasso folder say create an album, but you can't say get me something from an album I already have. You would actually have to go get the link from the photo to add something. But what's neat is the way they've integrated adding things from your phone. Now if you have pictures on your phone and you have Android right now, you can install Google Plus on your phone, which is not really an app, it's a widget. But when you install it in the background, every time you take a photo, it goes to your own private little cloud. There's no limit on it. I took a picture of my Roku XDS when it came. It was instantly in the cloud, like as soon as I, I put it up there. Now this is a private album. It's, it's showing pictures that are just for me. Um, but at any time I can take these pictures and share them with someone. See, once I highlight the picture, I can share that as a new post. It's really kind of cool. You can also delete pictures up here while they're still private. So if you get something up in the cloud that you weren't supposed to have uh, or that you don't necessarily want to share with the world, you can delete it right away. Now, will it re-upload? I don't really know. Also, I noticed that it takes from your album that's called camera, so if you have things that are on your SD card, it doesn't seem to upload those in the background, so maybe if you have pictures, you know, of kids or anything else that you don't want to end up on the web accidentally. You could put, you could save them to your your card instead of to your regular camera area. Then this is a good place where it does actually tie in with the rest of um, Google Plus. These are you know pictures of you that you have made public uh, in Picasa. So I have made this picture that I took with um, that my father took of me in Africa with my nephew. I made that public and put it in my in an album that I called Smiles, and I tagged people. This is me and Adam Urbanski. This is me and Ken MacArthur. This is me and Jeff Livingston, and that's just me by myself, very boring. So if those people are on uh, Google+, Plus and you've tagged them, it'll tell you, it'll appear up here. But what I really like about this is the photos from your circles. So you can see if, you know, if you click on this, you'll see the conversation that goes with this picture. And if there's um, an album full of those pictures, you can click on that and see all of these pictures. Like, I just commented earlier on a picture um, of Jim, and I thought it was a really cool picture. I told him so, and um, so we talked about that. That was fun. And then if you click on this this one, it's just basically your uh, profile. You, there's a grayed out area right here where if you want to see how your profile appears to somebody who may have blocked or put into uh, a limited circle or to the public, you can see what your profile looks like to other people. Here's something weird. You, your, your buzzes, things that you share in Google Reader or things that you share on, on Buzz, are not integrated with the posts that you share in Google Circles. It's a really weird thing that they're all on their own different tab. Also, the plus ones that you're doing in Google Plus come up, you know, kind of differently and at a different pace than the things that you share um, from Google Plus. Like if I plus, I plus the Google Plus project, and so that showed up here. But if I plus one a comment, that doesn't show up on this on my profile, which I think is really weird. So obviously, this is still, you know, like they said, a field project. It's still in testing. Still kind of neat. So last part, circles. Um, I don't want to get too far into this because I don't want to show, like, you know, everybody, like, this is public information. You can see when you go to someone's profile, unless they purposely hide it, who is in your circle. So I, if you want to, um, if you want somebody to be, if you want to share someone share things with specific kinds of people, you can group them down here. And the way that you can group them is really neat. You can just drag them down to that folder. 
Now, what's interesting, though, is if they're not already on um, Google+, Plus, even if you've invited them and they haven't accepted the invitation yet, they'll get emails or threads that you're on, but they can't participate the same way that you have. So, that's kind of neat, and that's most of Google+. Plus. Um, I would One of the things that I would recommend is when you go into Google+, Plus, if you get invited and you get accepted, try to move some of your discussions about what Google Plus is and what, how to do things into a separate area and spend a lot more time actually using the tool as you would Twitter or well, Twitter's not as robust as you would Facebook or as you would LinkedIn and see and, and discover some of the things that people are doing. As you add people, go to their pages and kind of look at what they're doing and, and um, let's look at someone like Shashi. He's doing a lot of interesting things on on um, Google Plus, so you can go to his yeah you can go to their profiles and kind of look at what they're doing. And unless you're blocked, you can actually sit there and um, and have conversations with them, even if you're not, even if you know the the following isn't mutual. So it's kind of it's kind of neat like that. So that in a nutshell, first look Google Plus. Hope you enjoyed it. I think I left anything out except for Hangouts, which is kind of hard to demonstrate unless I know that my Hangout is working. The only thing that I have not shown you really is Google Hangout, which I'm going to do a separate video with people who know that I'm watching so that you can observe. So it's a beautiful day where especially if you have Google Plus. If you want an invitation, here's what you have to do. When I post this to my blog as a video, respond as you normally would to any blog post, but in the email field, just fill in the email that you'd like me to send the invitation to, and everybody on that thread, I will invite this time only uh, until about 24 hours after the thread has been up, because if they close invitations again, which they've been throttling them back on and off, then everybody won't get in. And I, of course, want to make sure that I'm mostly inviting people who I'm actually going to interact with. But chances are, if you're reading my blog, that means you. So have a beautiful day.